Hey, what's going on, scholars? It's your professor here, Enlightened Enlisted. And in a week, December 6th, we are going to receive the release of the Burning Snow update here in Hell Let Loose. This has been a long-awaited addition, and we're going to have things like flamethrowers and jeeps added to the game we all know and love. We are also going to be seeing a new map, Kharkov in the Snow. That's going to be for the Russians, obviously, and it's going to be super awesome. I've been waiting for them to be adding more Russian maps to this game because, honestly, I just enjoy playing the Russians. <laughs> These are all great additions to probably my favorite World War II shooter I currently have. Like seriously, I cannot recommend this game enough. And if you haven't played it, well, December 1st to December 5th, you're going to be able to play it for free on Steam because they are running a free to play weekend. If you're still a little bit unsure and you're one of my normal enlisted viewers, then I suggest you check out this video here I did almost a year ago comparing the two games. Now, if you're one of my Hell Let Loose viewers or you have this game, never fear, you're going to have some more optimization added to the animations, and that's something that we've been wanting since the game released. I know there's quite a few of you guys that are running 1080s or below in GPUs, and you've complained about frame rate drops, and according to developers, this is actually going to help boost FPSs for all players. Lastly, we have the DLC dropping with some character models called the Skull Bucket. This DLC will give you access to two unique headgear for each faction in the game. Now, the helmets do look nice and I've always been a fan of monetization through customization, but looking at the Russians Leningrad helmet, I can't but wonder, dear God, when are the British actually going to be added to this game? I mean, it has been on the roadmap for almost a year now. If you're wondering about price, we have no confirmation on the total for this pack, but I'm going to guess it's going to be like the other DLCs and going to be under $5 US, which seems reasonable to me. I can't wait to see this update and test out the flamethrower here in Hell at Loose. What are you guys looking forward to in this coming update? Let me know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. As always, scholars, hit those books and hit those bottles. Cheers.